theater of magic. <laughs> you know they made 6,600 of these. 6,600. That's a lot of machines in March of 95. And this has to have the nicest artwork on the cabinet of all the pinball machines ever made. Look at the detail. Look at this. Look at the effort. The green colors. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's a beauty. Let's go over some of the things we've done. Brand new ramp in the center. There's not a single broken plastic on this, and we've also added these clear washers under all the plastics, so nothing on this machine will ever break again. We've also put super high LED lighting in this, so it gets this nice, brilliant look, and we have all LED lighting underneath the play field. This game is loaded with things to do. And you know, we didn't stop there when we were rebuilding this. Let's look. We have LEDs back here. We've also installed super bright flash lamps here in the top, as you can see. Inside, we put a new color television inside instead of the traditional um, orange type TV set. That's right there. That's from colordmd.com. Great, great system, and it's very easy to put in and install and program. I think this works for up to eight games now, so it's really brilliant. We've put bridges in here. We've also added the long length plugs. I also, uh, we've unplugged the display. Some of you say, oh, the display's unplugged, because we no longer use the high voltage display circuit. We only use the five volt circuit to create the picture. We don't need the high voltage circuit anymore, so we need that plug undone. We have a uh, lithium battery over here on the daughter board, on the little board that rides above the logic. So that takes care of our high score, and we also have the latest ROM update in there. And all the boards have been reheated, as we usually do, with all the games we sell. And or the other cable you may notice is here. This is the one that plugged into the old dot matrix, which is not used anymore. Not needed. Unneeded. Now, we have re-silvered. <laughs> it's not silver, is it? <laughs> We've repainted the gold legs with uh, high gloss rust -oleum, So they look terrific looking. And I think it's ready to go. Other than some gameplay, I think we're ready for gameplay. But you know, it's a little hard to see. We need to do something about that. Let's get rid of this. That's better. Good. Now, look at how beautiful that is. Now we'll start a game. Your first shot, of course, is to hit the trunk. And I got a dead center shot. So that'll turn on one of the features. Now we're on the straight jacket. And at the top, we gotta put your hand through. You have eight different illusions to do. And then you have the grand finale at the end. The tiger saw award is hitting these, this one ball that's bolted in there and then it knocks the other ball through. I remember we had a customer once that wanted to know we got the one ball, the ball was stuck. <laughs> Remember, we've been selling these. We sold a bunch of these brand new, I guess, back in '95. And uh, it's uh, most nobody really ever trades them in. This one came back, of course, it had incandescent lighting in it. We changed it all to these beautiful color lights. I want to show you some of the super bright. See how bright they are? These are the super bright flash lamps. Look at the brightness here. See how bright that is? It's unbelievable. We have color changer LEDs here under these clear caps here in the back. And once again, you're trying to do all these different illusions. So right now we're up to the spirit card, but every time you hit the trunk, you hit it three times. I'll start the illusion when I go into that one there. See, I'll start now, whatever is flashing. The spirit cards is this target right here. Get all your cards. You now, some of them 
are more elaborate than others. Beautiful color display. Hocus Pocus here actually activates your shot here that grabs your ball so you don't lose it. That lights our vanish shot. Now watch, I pull my vanish, it knocks a hole and my ball vanishes. It stays locked up there. It's another place to lock the ball. This game even has a secret ring, a secret lock spot. If you go up behind the trunk and you don't go hard enough, it falls into this hole up here and goes right into the oh, right. Look, my secret staircase, the secret ball lock. Well, we put a brand new trunk on this baby, too. Now, as I hit, there's a sensor under here that senses every time I hit it. Now watch, I can throw my ball in, lock our next ball up. We're gonna, just gonna advance this into multi -ball. Now, if you make the shot, see the bullseye there? Isn't that sharp? and it dumps the ball behind, and there you go. Now there is something I should point, look at the light show, this dazzling light show. Unbelievable. How's that for color displays? Unbelievable. One of, the, one of the neat effects here is what they call the, uh, every time you hit the straight, uh, the, the shots here are the pop bumpers, it moves your different things. So we're on metamorphosis now. So if I want to collect metamorphosis, I get that. Now watch what happens when I go into metamorphosis. I'm going to suggest I shoot here and watch what happens. Grabs the ball in the ring and drops her down. Fortunately, it drops it down on a metal plate, so that poor plastic ramp has a, has a way of staying alive. Baby, you're never going to get tired of this game. Not in a million years. Anyway. I think we'll be done with that ball. Yep. It's a beautiful piece of equipment, isn't it? I think it's time we turn the light back on first. Good. We cover everything right? Oh, I want to tell you, the trunk motor, nobody makes it. But the good news is, if your trunk motor goes bad, you could have it fixed by Steve Young at Pinball Resource right here. He can fix your trunk motor for you in almost every case. You can also buy new trunks that plastic trunks are now made, which is good news for all you theater uh, of magic owners out there. And, uh, oh, here's something neat. They put all the names of the people that designed it on a sticker up top. Isn't that nice? They wedged it up there. Out of view, but at least it's there. All those people were responsible for making such a beautiful piece of equipment. Well, Frank, I think it's time we say goodbye to Theater of Magic. Let's get it out of here. And... Stick around, because we got more games coming tonight. We have a grand lizard that's going to make its appearance soon. And now, it's time for me to go. I wish it was that easy to make him disappear. I heard that! <laughs>